First up, let's get you the update because should we panic or be more cautious about the current situation because we're, the entire world is still reeling with a global pandemic, the coronavirus, for the last three years. And after COVID challenge gripping the world, over 100 cases of another virus called monkeypox that has been confirmed in over 10 countries. That includes the US, Israel, Australia and the UK. In fact, the UK has confirmed community transmission of the virus. Now, the WHO has called for an emergency meeting to discuss the outbreak. And as per the health body, the recent outbreaks of monkeypox are atypical as they are occurring in countries where the virus does not regularly circulate. So scientists are also seeking to understand the origin, the current cases as well, if it has anything to do with the virus that has changed the ongoing situation. So going across to Dr. Subramanian Swaminathan joining us here on the broadcast. Sir, good morning to you. Uh, more than 10 10 countries that have been affected, multiple cases of monkeypox that are being reported. Should India be now put on high alerts, sir, looking at the current situation because we are still dealing with the COVID pandemic already? Being vigilant is always a good idea. So because we don't want to be caught on the back foot. And uh, we have learned that the hard way with the pandemic. Having said that, the probability of monkeypox becoming a major global threat is fairly low at this point of time. See, the thing is, uh, like you said, there are many reasons why this could be happening, and we need to do a deeper dive into it. And given that the reporting systems in many of the other countries may not be so great, we may actually be underestimating the true size of the spread at this point of time. But having said that, the most important thing to do is stay vigilant, look at the problem, start analyzing it scientifically, and then come up with solutions which are appropriate for it. And uh, panic will get us nowhere. We have learned that the hard way two years ago. So I think it's time to be cautious, but no reason to panic. But uh, Dr. Swaminathan, uh, you know, the situation is still evolving. And the WHO also expects that there will be more cases of monkeypox uh, identified and surveillance expands in non-endemic countries. What does it mean, sir? See, we need to understand there are reasons why this could be happening. There was a very interesting paper on this about 14 years ago, which actually speculated this possibility. And uh, why is this happening? Remember, till about the 1970s, uh, smallpox vaccination was universal, and therefore we probably were not seeing monkeypox. Now the majority of the world is not vaccinated in smallpox, and therefore they have no protection against monkeypox. Also, those people who may have been vaccinated at that time may have lost their immunity by now. Also, we have a larger population with immune problems, and uh, we also have other medical problems we're grappling with and things like that, and also skin problems and stuff like that. When you start adding all that up, our vulnerability to this starts increasing. The second part is the virus itself. Now, obviously, we need to start uh, sequencing the virus to see if it has evolved in some way. See, monkeypox as an infection was not unknown at all. Hmm. In fact, we may have been underestimating it because a lot of the problems are attributed to smallpox, and therefore monkeypox may have been buried under it. Even after smallpox was eradicated, in Africa, surveillance systems are so poor right, that sir. we only knew of a few limited outbreaks. So the problem is so we India, don't know... as you said, has learned it the hard way, but nevertheless, uh, being a vigilant is something that all countries should actually do, especially India at this point, because high alert that has already been issued at least to two states there. Sharon and Deepak are also joining us, our reporters on ground. Sharon, to you first. The identification of the confirmed and suspected cases of monkey monkeypox with no direct travel link, to endemic area represent highly unusual event. How is the government now monitoring the situation? Uh, well, with the international uh, travel being open in the country, the health ministry, in collaboration with the uh, civil aviation, has in fact told that the people who are manning these international exits uh, at the airport uh, are uh, to follow the SOPs and guidelines. There is a specific SOP for monkeypox, for smallpox, that has in fact been uh, given to uh, these uh, people who are manning uh, all the airports in the country to ensure that the, the tests are done as far as uh, these people who are coming to the airport, especially people who are coming from Europe and North America and the United States, uh, there is going to be a random... Uh All right, uh, we've just lost that line with Sharon, but we'll come back to you. Uh, Deepak, as far as Kerala and Karnataka is concerned, already sounding an alert, what more can you tell us, especially the vigilance at uh, the airports that has been stepped up? 
Yes, two things have uh, been informed to the health officials and by the health department in itself. One is, of course, for the hospitals to be uh, prepared uh, to, for admission of patients with, uh, you know, monkeypox if uh, a case like that arises. And also they've been told that uh, to ensure that a team is formed if a person is infected to identify uh, the contacts of that person in the last 21 days. Also at the airport, a strict uh, vigilance has been ordered. But of course, no clarity. When it came, came to, of course, COVID, there was a little bit of clarity at the airports as to whether, you know, uh, they will isolate them. Uh, now, if it's from a particular country, whether it's only going to be a partial amount of crowd from that particular flight uh, who will be uh, asked to undergo any sort of test. But in this particular case, they've said that if there is a country that they're coming from where there is either symptoms or, you know, monkeypox that has been detected, then, you know, there will be a vigilance that will be given to the people who are coming in the flight. But are all the people going to be tested or is it just going to be a small bunch or if they're exhibiting any sort of symptoms, are they going to be tested? This, uh, you know, there is a little bit of lack of clarity. This seems to be an initial uh, sense of caution, precaution that is being taken by, you know, the state governments here. Uh, at what we've been told by travelers is that almost uh, uh, no checking uh, whatsoever at this point in time is happening. So we'll really have to see uh, with, uh, you know, uh, the the fear of this uh, monkeypox even entering India now looming large, whether there will be more and more strict vigilance at the airports. Right. So same question to you, Arunil, who is also joining us at this point, because uh, as far as its symptoms are also concerned, the government has yet to give out detailed guidelines exactly what they are looking for, especially when it comes to international travelers landing in India, Arunil. Well, well, that is right. In fact, the WHO, the World Health Organization, has also mentioned about it that the spread of monkeypox to places like Europe, Canada, Israel is very unusual because this is a zoonotic, uh, uh, zoonotic disease that only spreads in the west and central part of Africa. Now, why is it spread, uh, spreading to as many as 12 uh, countries at present, as many as more than 90 cases? Uh, being reported. That is extremely unusual and that is why a watch out notice uh, has been issued by the Maharashtra government as well. Uh, uh, the port officials, the airport officials have been told to be on high alert. When we, when we spoke to the uh, airport officials, they have been saying that a proper directive needs to be given with respect to what are the symptoms, how exactly uh, the patients have to be screened for it, how communicable uh, this uh, disease is. Uh, all those directives are not yet been given uh, by the health ministry at, at present and yes uh, till now uh, there is still still time one can say because the disease has not been uh, found uh, on asian soil uh, at present one can say it has spread to europe it has spread to israel it has spread to uh, canada as well but it hasn't been seen uh, in asia till now that's what the health authorities are saying but yes a uh, vigilance has been issued by uh, the maharashtra health ministry by the union uh, health department and so as well to find out uh, any cases that are there at, at different ports in India, at different airports in India, so that uh, this can be screened and, uh, and prevented at the early, earliest. Right. Uh, Dr. Swaminathan, for the benefit of our viewers, can you exactly tell us how can one detect monkeypox? Because uh, the first case is said to have come around the 1970s. Do we have enough data to exactly evaluate its spread and how long will it last? See, the problem is we don't have expert diagnostics in this. It's still a clinical diagnosis because this is not a, this is like a neglected disease where there is not much of diagnostic or therapeutic work which has gone on so far. That is not to say that we don't have leads, but we don't have systems in place at a community level for us to do diagnostic tests. It's still a clinical diagnosis and then confirmation by laboratory by certain parameters. So obviously we need to put in SOPs in place to have, uh, do all of these things. What should the general public know? Number one, there's no reason to panic. But if somebody who's returned from abroad has fever with skin changes, skin sores and things like that, then they need to contact the nearest uh, public health agency as quickly as possible so that uh, there is uh, insurance that that person is taken care of and to avoid transmission to their own family and other members of the public so that we don't set off a bigger chain uh, in this country, which could be far more difficult to control. So at this point, I think uh, vigilance is important, education is important, and avoidance of prior panic is at critical. Hmm. Uh, but Dr. Swaminathan, why is it being called as an unusual event if it was still there and has been reported earlier as well? Uh, because we are looking at people with no relevant travel histories to area where monkeypox is endemic. Uh, there is also a sexual history that is also being added to it. So why is it being called as an unusual event? In that, remember that uh, pox virus is generally a person-to-person -person spread. Uh, and uh, these kind of zoonosis, uh, that's small, that small pox, these kind of monkeypox can...